Hi guys, it's Mitz here from wordpresswebsitebuilder.com and I'm just going to give you a couple of little tips on how to make sales on your blog. Now, you don't have to blog about blogging or anything like that because this is about um, reviewing something and it could be anything and making a sale. Okay. Now what I did is I made a post on August the 4th, 2011 and um, um, I called it the best e-commerce WordPress theme and I did research the title and that's um, how I came up with that title there. Um, people were searching for it in Google AdWords and um, I actually um, always tick the exact match when I'm searching and not the broad match okay so basically if it had 200 or more um, exact match um, searches then I would use those keywords um, for a post okay so if um, I was looking for a website niche um, domain name then I would try and get a thousand or more um, of these searches of the exact match searches but since I'm only making an article I um, own my kind of criteria is 200 or more exact match searches okay now radio so I've written a review here um, I use um, SEO presser as you know okay um, that's why we can see that the best e-commerce theme is um, it is italic there and if I go down it will be uh, bolded somewhere and stuff like that there it is underlined okay now SEO presser is doing that for me also if I hover over the images I'm gonna see see the keyword come up oh, I have to do, go over here see how it's got be, best e-commerce theme oops sorry I accidentally pressed on the picture I'll go back hmm. right so um, that means that I've made the ALT text which is the alternative text um, I've set it to the keyword. Okay, so I wrote a pretty good theme and it's all in my own words and I picked out the best features of it, put a few pictures in and said why you should use it and stuff like that. Um, sometimes I even give ideas on how to use it, uh, what could you do with it, um, all sorts of things. Just whatever comes out of your head, it doesn't really matter. Okay, so what I've done is um, I've got an internal link here to another article on my website. Now I just want to tell you that that link has also got um, some goals on it or affiliate links. So I um, always want to send them to another page that has um, an opportunity to make a sale on okay so I'm just letting you know that now this link here um, I looked in the elegant themes um, affiliate section and this is a custom link that I made and um, I put an ID with it so this just this link here has made six sales okay um, so elegant themes is a reoccurring thing every year so that means that um, I get a commission from those six sales every year providing that people stay in it uh, but the other thing is that obviously the programs fantastic so they have a pretty good retention rate okay so now that um, uh, so it's good to have a affiliate link in the first couple of sentences and I have put it before this one because I would rather them click on that okay now the next tip is that um, I've come here to edit this post because 
I didn't realize that this little link here had done six sales so um, that means that this page has potential for sure and um, this little one down here hasn't made any sales um, there's another affiliate link there but it hasn't made any sales so what they've done I don't even know whether they've looked at my page but they've gone straight there because they're thinking best e-commerce theme they can see the picture right here and then they're going right I'm going and they've clicked that link there or so I can't think of anything else um, so what I'm going to do is um, I'm going to promote this post as I'm going to write articles and use this as the keyword linking back to this here and also I will use these as the keywords and a couple of other variations so I won't just use that um, the reason I'm doing this is because I know that this page will make sales okay I already know that now so it's worth me going and promoting it and sending people there and it doesn't even matter if it's done on August the 4th okay it's definitely not out of date okay um, I have pages that are say three or four years old and um, they're still making sales because I realized that that's where the sales were coming from and then I promoted them okay now that is how you can make money if you just see sales that you're getting and just let it go and go oh well that page is over and done with now um, you're letting some you're letting um, money you know go because um, you could be obviously you've made a great page already and it's proven sales and you should work on it and get more out of it okay so I thought that I would come back now as I said this is the only link that's made money there so I thought of something else I thought well this is a big picture taking up the room here so I might go and edit the post and make this link to the actual affiliate website as well so I'll just I'm just going to go up the top and press on edit post okay okay so now we are going to click on the picture and I want to go and change this link URL okay to my affiliate link update right so now when they press on the picture it goes straight to this um, preview of this theme okay because that's actually what they want they don't want to see a bigger picture anyway it was my mistake in the first place that I didn't have that there okay I, I reckon I would have made more sales um, also you're probably wondering why I have this here and it's spelt wrong because it's meant to be spelt like that or whatever or it's meant to have a dash or something the reason is that I'm going with this wrong spelling is because that is what is in the search engines and that's what people are searching for okay so I know it looks wrong but that's just the way it is um, also go and make some other pictures to links as well as no problem with it you can do all of them uh, why not what's the point of um, linking to a bigger image when they can go and see the whole thing um, for themselves at the elegant themes website so I'm gonna paste it in and update it okay um, these are a couple of things that I can do now these links here like I said did not work okay so my advice to you is when you're doing a review make sure you have a link in the first few sentences up the top there um, this pretty much works for me all of the time and um, by the time they get down to the end of the page they're pretty much distracted or they're they're not interested 
and if they are interested they're probably probably looking for the comment section by then all right um, okay so just make sure you go and make some of your pictures into affiliate links um, yeah just to get people there now we already know that you do that with Amazon sites as well so if you're making a product um, review like a Kindle Fire uh, post or something like that just put a picture of the Kindle Fire in and link it to the Amazon thing and you possibly could make a sale alright thanks for watching